Good morning. It is 8.45 a.m. on Monday, May the 10th, 2021. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I have actually been up for a little bit. I've, I've gotten into a habit lately where I'm not doing the video right away. I'm not sure what sparked that change exactly. But it's certainly been true lately that I've been getting up and doing a few things before I sit down to record. Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I think I might need to start closing the windows again overnight. Because uh, I've been tending to leave one of the windows cracked a little bit for fresh air overnight. But now that we're getting late enough into the year that... Uh, uh, the sunrise is much earlier and the birds start chirping earlier. I think that's what wakes up Rocket earlier because he has been pretty consistently starting to get me up at like 5 a.m., which is definitely earlier than I need to be getting up. And uh, so then I need to go take him outside once he's awake. He's insistent. But then we come back to bed. And it uh, was raining outside this morning, and so I kind of tried him off before getting back into bed. But yeah. So I'm about to share a very sweet but slightly <laughs> slightly uh, disruptive uh, incident with uh, Rocket, which is that, you know, um, got him dried back off and then got back up into bed. And then he was, you know, back up in bed with me, and as he usually does. But I had just drifted back off to sleep when all of a sudden he basically jumps his front feet right up onto my stomach, just like right in the solar plexus. He is a 30 pound dog. And when all of that is concentrated into just two fr little front paws right in your solar plexus, that, that's not the most stressful way to wake up. Um, and uh, as I sort of like, huh, you know, lurched, um, he rest his chest down onto my uh, stomach, laid his chin down on my on my chest, and then as I was like, "Oh, okay, Rocket," and I just started to pet him, he just lolled over and ended up on his back, like on top of my arm, and just basically wanted to be cuddled, which I obliged because um, he is very sweet. But it was just one of those things where it's like. Here, I'm going to wake you up in a violent, <laughs> violent way to re request cuddles. <sighs> and of course, he is back to being very asleep right now. Um, yesterday, I played a bunch more of Knights of the Old Republic, which is, uh, if you're not familiar, it is a Star Wars RPG from the people who made... Um, Mass Effect and Dragon Age, but before those games. Uh, so it's an, it's an older game. Uh, and, I, you know, I continue to feel, as I have felt all along with it, that the writing is good, and I like the characters, and I like the story, and I'm definitely intrigued enough by those things to keep playing. But, boy, the gameplay did not age well. You know, it's it's like... Uh, if if you are a fan of the Mass Effect games, which are certainly in the news recently with the Legendary uh, Edition coming out, you know how Mass Effect 1 gameplay was and then it got so much better in 2 because they figured, you know what, let's, let's maybe not have you have to do inventory management with 1,500 different versions of the same rifle and um, uh, make everything tactically complicated in ways that don't really matter very much, but do require lots of complicated decisions from you. Um, and then it got better in Mass Effect 2. Well, Knights of the Old Republic is like further back on the spectrum. I just... Uh, I am so uninterested in like the combat gameplay of this game. And now at a friend's recommendation, I went ahead and I shifted the difficulty to easy. And I still occasionally have to go through a couple of fights more than once. 
and have to make actual complicated decisions about like how how do I beat these people um, and I tell you um, now the story as mentioned is uh, is good enough that I'm I'm pushing through that part of it but boy it's just one of those things where like it's so frustrating when a game works against itself like that. Yeah. Anyway, um, I guess I will leave it there and I will talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes. Uh, tonight, later tonight, uh, this is Monday on the 10th. Uh, Mike and I will be doing our Watching 100 Movies stream. We'll be talking about Seven Samurai and both versions of The Magnificent Seven. So tune in for that. And again, talk to you tomorrow for five more minutes. Yeah.